In this video, we bring you an advanced West Coast swing move, a champion's breakdown from Maxim and Victoria. What's up, gang? It's Brian B. And Miss Megan. We are bringing you an advanced West Coast swing pattern, a champion's breakdown, which you are watching now from back in 2017, where uh, Maxim and Victoria did this really cool pattern, and we are going to break it apart and give it to you in a way that works for your dancing. So here's kind of where they came from, and this is our version of the pattern. You can see, well, you've already seen the whole pattern, but one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and 10. If you want to add their little finish to it, we go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. And then they did this like, woo, and they kind of grooved, right? And you're welcome to do that all as much as you want. But let's make this uh, fundamental. It is an advanced pattern because um, the timing is actually pretty basic. Um, it's not a basic move, but the timing is pretty basic. It's working off triples, but the, the catches and the ability for the follower to spin and the things that she has to do with her arms make this a bit tricky. So they start in a close position. It's nothing more than a walk, 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 walk. So I'd want you to practice as a first move to be able to go walk, prep this turn, and lead an inside turn. That's your first uh, step to that pattern. So we have to cultivate the ability to be connected in this hand, right? Which if you're watching this video, it's advanced. You're probably good that far. On count two, I need to chicken wing myself. There's a couple of uh, things that I do here. As the leader, I want to collapse my elbow. I call this the chicken wing into myself. From the follower standpoint, you can talk about this cool thing you do with this arm. Um, first and foremost, I'm connecting away. And then in a normal connection, I'm lightly laying my arm on top of his, but as uh, the leader leads in for this, I go down with him. I'm not pushing down, but I am make sure, making sure that I stay with his arm. So what that does is that leads another connection point to lead the spin, right? There's a lot of different things we could do off that connection alone. We could take this arm up and over and keep that, but I have to first cultivate the ability to lead and follow the inside turn from this position. So this is level one of what you're gonna need to do to get to it. Uh, part two is we're gonna need to start to connect on her back and freeze her on count four. One, two, three, and four. So what's happening here is we're leading one, two. We're assuming the turn's gonna happen. But instead of allowing Megan to step back, we're gonna make sure she steps forward. One, two, I'm gonna start to connect my hand, three and, right? And from here, I'm gonna make sure she goes forward onto count four. So this is a little bit advanced because if I'm not proactive with that hand and I'm lazy, this is gonna happen. She's gonna step all the way back onto that foot and the pattern's not gonna work, cool? So from the other side, we go one, two, three and four. So here I feel like, Couple different things are happening. I'm clear about this connection and making sure she goes forward. Megan's pretty good in the fact that she's just not clunking onto that foot. Clunk onto the foot for me, clunk forward, right? And out of that connection. She is both monitoring that step and the connection to that foot, right? So it's an advanced concept that she's just not plopping onto the foot, but she's aware and monitoring that connection. So leaders, I have to lead the one, two. I need to connect my right hand nice and early because she knows she needs to pay attention to that. Now from here, she's gonna turn around into the rest of the pattern. So let's use the next two beat increment. For, I like to think of West Coast Swing in two beat increments. So one, two, what's our checkpoint? We're connected, chicken wing, she's connected, we're leading the turn. Next two beat increment, I have to make sure she steps forward. So I'm gonna connect this here, boom, into that, that hand right there. Now from here, I need her, can you do your footwork for me for the next part? Triple step. That's what's gonna happen for the footwork for the followers. So leaders, I need to use my hand to make sure that happens. One, two, three, and four. Now here, I'm taking this hand around, catching her and leading back. Let me get myself out of the way. Around, catching her and leading back. So what's gonna happen is I'm going around, catching her on her right foot, and leading her back as I step across the slot so I can lead a free spin and then I dive through and do my groovy part. Cool? Let's look at that one time on this side, one time on the other side. One, two, that's the first two beat increment. Three and four, stepping forward. Five and she's connected back onto six. I'm stepping across the track and I'm leading an inside turn. 
trading to my right hand before I anchor. Let's look at it on the other side because you're going to see that trade. First two beats, chicken wing check. Second two beats, she's forward. Third two beats, three and, or five and, six leaders. I'm going to step across the slot, and as she's turning, I'm trading my right hand into her back. So I'm basically leading her onto that left foot, and then from here we can anchor step. Now, in the video, they did some extra turns, but we like to break things apart in a way that makes them fundamental. So I'm gonna assume that if you're a champion level dancer, you can probably rock that pattern. You don't need the video. But if you're trying to level up to get to that pattern, this is the one that I would lead socially most often. Um, and so this will get you there, right? So from both sides again, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So if you notice here, we're still connected. Notice our weight change is incremental through our feet. This is just an inside turn, basic stuff triple step. I like to use the hand to connect her there. And because even from here, we got lots of different options. I could just let go and we anchor away and we're very fundamental. I could run around on the anchor and end up in almost the same position again. That's actually kind of fun. <laughs> there you go. An endless loop. An endless loop. So there is an advanced pattern for your West Coast Swing. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure you're heading over to the website, westcoastswingonline.com. Enter your email address on the first page. You're going to get a ton of free stuff. 50 videos on the site. We have over 600 videos there. A, a glob of content. It's super duper cool. The search function it has a favorites function to keep track of your favorite videos. So just by signing up with your email address, you can get 50 free videos. Uh, a regular membership is only 20 bucks a month um, and you will have access to all of the stuff we do. So we put out a portion of what we do here on YouTube, but the everything that we've ever shot is on that. It's super cool. You can search by dance style, you can search by levels of patterns, you can search by techniques, you can just type in what you're looking for. It's got a favorites function, it has a slow motion, motion uh, feature, uh, super cool. So make sure to check that out and we will see you again in the next video.